Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am back here again in the lockdown garden. Now if you saw my last video I shot the Orion Nebula from this garden just on my tripod using a regular camera with a 200mm lens. Well if you haven't seen that video watch that one first because in this video I'm up in the stakes and I'm actually going to put the camera on a portable tracking mount and we'll see what difference that makes. It means that I can use a much longer exposure of the Orion Nebula. I can use, I can actually use up to 30 seconds. I don't unfortunately have any working timer that I can plug into the camera. So I'm very limited tonight. I'm limited to only 30 second exposures. I'm gonna show you now the setup I've got, the, the tracker, the way I've got the camera set up. I explained a lot about finding the Orion Nebula in my last video. So if, if, you, if you need to know that, make sure to watch the last video first. So anyway, let's go and see how I've got things set up. Okay, there's my central heating blowing out. And <laughs> look at all that coming out. Oh, that's another thing as well. If you're ever photographing anything from your garden, try to avoid photographing towards your central. Can you see how all this, that's all hot air that, and that's gonna make the air, the atmosphere very kind of wobbly. So you want to try and avoid that if you can. So avoid central heating, um, the outlets. Right, okay, so I am actually, I've got my camera set up just out here. I showed it on the last video. There's the star bus. Can you see now how I've got my camera there on the tripod, but I've also got it on top of this thing here. Now, this is my tracker, can you see? Um, now, what this does is it's a four nax light track too. Can you see? And this arm here moves very slowly from right to left, and that means that the camera follows the stars it follows it can you see we've got a bit of cloud up there as well coming in help that cloud doesn't spoil things so this does track the sky but what i have to do first is i have to polar align it so can you see if i come around here can you see that polar scope there that that scope there looks straight up to the north star which is somewhere up there behind the cloud now i've already polar aligned it before so it doesn't matter uh, the mount is already aligned you have to have the pole star Polaris lined up inside this scope here and my camera is pointing directly towards the Orion Nebula right now so that's the way I've got the camera set up and you can see there that we're um, straight like there but in this part of the garden in fact I'm on the driveway my driveway here we don't have any street lights uh, where Orion is as you can see we've got clouds up there at the moment but yeah, so as you can see, we've got a bit of a problem with clouds coming in now, but no worries. I already took the photographs before when it was nice and clear. Now, I am limited to the self-timer on the camera at the moment because I don't have a cable release, unfortunately. So the maximum shutter speed I can do is 30 seconds, but that doesn't matter too much because the Orion Nebula is really, really bright and it will really show up well. So let's look at the first picture. And I've taken this first picture at 30 seconds and the ISO for this is ISO 3200, much less than the ISO I used in the last video. Remember when I used it on a static tripod and I was using a very short shutter speed, two and a half seconds, that was to avoid the trailing. So we get a much, we should get a much better picture out of this. And as you can see there, check this out. Look how bright the background sky is. That, the, the background sky is so bright here. That's all the street lights you see, sort of making the sky look really, really bright. But we can do something with this in processing. And what I'll do is I'll do another video to follow this one where I'll show you how I can stack all the pictures I've taken. I've taken nine pictures at 30 seconds. I've taken nine pictures at 15 seconds. I'll just show one on the screen now. This one was taken at 15 seconds. So as you can see, it's nowhere near as bright, but the core still looks very bright. You know, the, the core of the nebula there still looks very bright, as you can see. And I've also taken some pictures at eight seconds. So I'm just gonna show you that now. So there you go. There's an eight second exposure of the Orion Nebula. And you can see the background sky is nowhere near as bright. And hopefully we can use that to try and drag back that core in the final picture when I stack all these pictures together. I've stretched it as much as I can using Photoshop and there you go that's what you can get on a tracker at 200 millimeters from your garden no filters no special filters no special modified camera or anything like that anyway if you like this video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again next time